what an absolutely screwed up, dysfunctional, crazy, asinine investment world we live in today. It, it is so ridiculous what is going on that tens of trillions of dollars literally move up or down each day based on one person's words, sounds, notes that come out of his mouth. I mean, this is, we live in such a very, very dysfunctional time when it comes to investing. You want to go look at fundamental information. You want to look at 10 Ks or 10 Qs and quarterly reports and figure out price to books and price to earnings on companies and look at that. It doesn't matter. That's not going to help because one person's opinion is going to change all that in a second. But the question is, this is the world we live in today. This is what we have. So what do you do about it? Because you can't go back. There, there are no time machines. This is the world we live in. And as, as asinine and crazy and stupid and dysfunctional as it is, this is what we have. And I know history will look back on this period of time, probably from 2000 to probably 2018, and go, what a screwed up, dysfunctional, upside down time to invest in. Yet this is where we are. This is what we have today. So the question is what to do. Now, not surprisingly, my thoughts this week really are what a screwed up investment world we live in right now. But we do live in it and we're going to continue to live in it. So we need to figure out what to do with our money. And that's what I want to talk with you about because we're not getting out of this investment world. We have to figure out what to do. So <laughs> I love bringing in the Reagan cabinet picture every once in a while and changing the caption on it. And this caption is the public thinks Ben Bernanke knows what he's doing. He doesn't. He's making it up. He may be doing his best. I'm not saying he's a villain or a good person or a bad person, but he doesn't know. It's a complete, complete blind experiment. And the last hundred years of Fed history says it's not going to work out and it's certainly not going to work out for the bottom 90% of the, the population, whether they are in inside or outside of the United States, because the direction of the bottom 90% net worth is going down. Whether we have inflation or deflation or disinflation, it doesn't matter. The policies that are being, the fact that policies should do anything is crazy. You think fundamentally, fundamental information should drive markets, but not anymore, certainly not since 2008. And so this is really hurting the bottom 90% of people, really, truly hurting people. And so, you know, you've got this guy who's, my words are magical. You know, what shall I say today? What noises should I speak from my mouth to move the markets? And as absurd as that is, that's what we're, that's what we have today. And so literally, I, I, it's like he has this little dice that says like, buy, sell, hold, trade, taper, not taper, accommodate, don't accommodate. It, it is just absolutely absurd. But again, this is where we are. So what do you do about it? Well, the first thing is you got to remember, there's no hiding. You can't hide your money. Oh, no, oh, RC, I, I've, I've set my money aside in the US dollar. Nope, nope, that's currencies. Currency is an investment. There's no setting aside money. Um, I have it set aside in physical silver. Nope, it's not set aside. It's invested in physical silver or it's invested in currencies, whether you live in Australia and it's in Australian dollars or US dollars or euros or pounds or yuans or yen. You are invested and you're always invested. So the first thing I want you to get is you're always invested. Now, here's the thing. Opinions follow price. Emotions follow price. News follows price. So the question is, does your strategy include some sort of price direction? And I don't care if you're deep value or technical or fundamental or I trust and like my broker. If you don't have some sort of price filter, price mechanism, then it's, gonna, it's been a really difficult 12 or 13 years. There's probably been at least two or three crash landings of your portfolio. So the thing I want to really leave you with today is if you do not have a strategy that includes price direction, which most people would call that technical information, though it doesn't really need to be that technical, which direction are the four major asset classes in the world going? And so let's just look at this. Companies are going up. Now, when I say companies, most people are like, wait, what? I mean publicly traded companies, stocks, equities, and they are going up. And actually, they've been going up since May of 2009. So they've been going up over four years. So they're trending up. The price of publicly traded companies, generally speaking, is going up. And currencies, generally speaking, are falling. Now, this is a little more difficult to really notice because they're all falling together. So the yen is falling and the euro is falling and the yuan is falling. 
and the Australian dollar is falling and the US dollar is falling and all the other currencies are falling, but they're all kind of doing it together. So it's hard to tell they're falling, but in fact, currencies are falling. And I'll just let you know, currencies have been falling forever. If it's a printable currency, a fiat currency, it is getting, it is becoming worth, it's becoming less and less worthful. I, I want to say worth less, not worthless, but it's becoming worth less every five and 10 years. And then you say, oh, well, I'll just put it into debt. Well, debt is getting hit pretty hard right now because of the magical whispers of Ben Bernanke. And this is really sad because the majority of people who have debt, which most people don't think of it as debt, they, they say bonds, municipal bonds, corporate bonds, um, government bonds, but it's debt. And, and that's going down. One, it's going down because all that debt's in printable currencies. But two, the principal is actually going down. And we know that because when the yield goes up, the, the principal goes down. And so debt is falling. And the sad thing about that is most of the people who are in bonds and debt are people in their 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, and 90s. They, they don't have the time to repair. And then you say, well, I'll just put it in physical. Well, depending on what physical you're talking about, if it's commodities, commodities are, you know, generally speaking, have been falling for years. Yes, real estate is also physical, and just recently real estate has started to move up. So there are some areas within these major sectors. But the point is you want to start noticing in your strategies, do your strategy incorporate price direction? And it's so simple, it's so clean, it's so straightforward, it's so obvious that it's hard to see. And so one thing I'll, I'm gonna do is I have free training videos, but I, I realize that they're probably not that easy to get to. And so I'm doing a little redesign to get these tr free training videos out to you. You don't even need to opt in to watch them. They're just, I just wanna make sure you have them because even if we never work together, watch them, they will absolutely shift and impact and change and adjust the way that you protect and grow money. And what you'll learn is really how to diversify, not into strategies or sectors or asset classes, but really diversify into, sorry, I, I misspoke there. It's about di diversifying into strategies and not sectors or asset classes. Because here's the thing, we're in a sideways market and we've been in a sideways market for since 2000 and it's 2013 and we're gonna be in a sideways market for at least another five years. And how one invests in a sideways market is very, very, very different than how somebody invests in an up market and rebalancing and conventional diversification is not gonna help. I want you guys to have a great weekend. Hug your kids, hug your, <laughs> your wife, your husband, your neighbors, um, appreciate what you have. And I will be speaking with you soon. You guys take care.